Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Surviving Mars, to our little, yeah, survival colony, 173 we are day, and, um, or day 173, and, yeah, things are looking not so dire, some people are dying as always on purpose, low storage for metal it is, and we want to focus now a bit on education, before I do this, however, we should have a look up here my transporter once again is offline and why is that there's really nothing close by except <laughs> there you are they're hiding they're hiding because they are the guilty party of course these dust devils were once again destroying my vehicle and then just moved away here out of sight but of course not out of mind because i know exactly who did this we need to get the commander up once again and repair the transporter and get us the metal in once more there's lots lots and lots of metal up here by the way so yeah that's that's something we should still risk um renegades are stealing some food it's it's not that bad i mean we have six renegades right now they still go to work sometimes they still scootly poop around sometimes and that's it the problem is not as severe as it looks right now i can postpone the the security station for now a bit of a bit of materials are being stolen from time to time but it's fine i'm not going to waste workforce on a security office uh, when it's not that severe yet so transporter uh it is let's just have a look there is some more stuff here once more that he can also get he's got already some 40 metal on board so he should actually yeah perfect get back to the base and my commanders also get back down here because of course the commander should stick around here to my concrete deposits for now uh, concrete extractors they're still getting the concrete done there's 900 in store here still that's not really a lot so this is going to get by quickly and i can i can work with that solution for now now my explorer is not having anything to do however it's damaged yeah as is my drone commander now well within a second of course the dust devils move from here to here just blocking my path down the ramp and with that i mean the transporter was there on time but the drone commander unfortunately did not make it on time so what i will need to do is getting a drone down there this is this is just another level all right um a drone we have then one with fully battery charged to do the trick we continue onwards though with our next project the next project is going to require quite a bit of metal though and we don't have that there's also a meteor storm coming in there's a dust storm coming in and at some point i will just have to work now here with uh, those deep metal deposits that we have because it's getting it's getting really stupid out there with the dust devils it's getting severe i think more severe so by the by the feel of it um it's getting really hard to extract resources on the map Oh, there's some 66 medals. I'll probably go for this for now. Oh, it's that, that, that's lots of stuff here. That I'd rather go before I go up there on this plateau again where we have, yeah. Basically, crazy time right now. As the drone gets up the ramp, that moves, of course, right into the way. We'll just see. There's some three more popping up over there. It's going to be a bit tricky, but I need to do this. At worst, I will lose a drone. And I don't know how long they they exist right so it could be days really and we need that drone commander go go you brave soul you brave little drone you might actually get destroyed in the process we'll just see they're gone again down here probably destroyed on the cliffs there's really a lot of them right now Yeah, they're completely blocking the path now as they knew that I would like to go down there. So I need to wait a bit. Meteor Storm is now hitting us. So in that case, where they're going down in the southern area of the map right now, that's a bit good for us. So it, it's not in my base. At some point they had to disappear. Let's get down and get this commander now back to work again, especially here to my... Oh, come on. Where is it? My explorer. There it is. Hiding. Hiding away. Now, resource-wise, the transport at least lived for another soul, which is exceptional. And we can now continue with the construction with uh, the Martian University. However, before I do this, that's the dome that I would like to take care of here. Let's get rid of the ornaments that we have in between. So this, uh, these few parks there. What are you doing? That's an interesting path they're taking, going up there and then over there to the to the polymer factory where they are working. Alright. 
that's gone perfect we also will need to get rid of that passage so i want to have no direct connection anymore between the main dome and the the martian university dome we're also going to say in camilleri um that we do accept youths again and by the way in this dome here we do have a very high comfort rating too so the youths will be very happy because i think at this point they actually scoodly poop around as well right it might be the case um i do need another very important another where is it nursery uh we can have this one here then we are going to have up to eight youths in here and of course kids are the primary factor youths they don't stay that long youth right so i don't think that i'm going to have more than eight anytime soon so this is going to be fine for now and we can always get rid of the research station for another for another one but that's that's doing the job for now and here we can now have the martian university and boom and in this dome we are also going to say no one is allowed except the youth and here we have now youth right so there's one there's still i think yep we need to disable them now in the main dome i don't want them over there anymore so this is really the production dome now for everything the breeding dome primarily the youth are going to stay over here and they will then go to the university that is my hope i mean that is not my hope i know that it's going to work like that uh commander there you are getting over great dust storm in one soul we will need to prepare our windmills i will probably need to build a few more i was contemplating about the fusion reactor already um as that is producing a lot of electricity but it requires workers and it requires a really huge amount of electronics maintenance that i don't want to afford right now i think machine part maintenance is easier than electronics maintenance so we're going ahead here with um two more of the wind turbines they're going to be fully upgraded and in the dust storm produce of course almost twice as much so it should be fine for my for what i have in mind here now explorer is also ready again let's get back up to the base the same with the commander and the transporter actually is still alive salvaging some metals now so with that we are going up again on the on the metal deposit that's great university up it goes oh by the way we do have a rocket in orbit plant this one that one here uh is not doing anything right now they will both not be able to lift off 15 rare metals i have only right now hmm, not that much unfortunately for to justify sending the rocket back home again there it is martian university let's enable one shift and let's have the training first of all where are my youths they should now they're still working in the polymer factory for example but i'm going to apply them now to the university i'm going to put this on high priority too because otherwise they would focus on the high priority polymer factory but i want the youth to be trained to be properly trained before they go to work i will not let adults and middle-aged people let to the university because they are already pretty old especially the middle-aged and they turn senior then pretty soon right so i'm training them for three four souls and then they probably work another soul or two and then become senior that would make a lot of sense but youth they have a long life ahead of them and they will be able to to get properly trained it makes sense with them the first one is moving in perfect so jessica you are actually the smart person here i think because you did it automatically exploration wise i think i'm going now there's still a plateau up there and then we can go for these guys here these guys here and then probably some sectors down in the south that'll do the trick just fine all right i will need to actually apply the others to that manually it seems because they don't want to work in my university dome um as we can see no one else is taking the jobs here right no one else is filling it up except the youth and the reason for that is of course this dome here is not connected with that dome anymore nor do i allow uh, adults and um middle-aged into this dome so they have no no way actually of getting in here it's only really the youth that should be that should be going for this and these two domes are connected so they kind of like work in uh, live in here and work in here of course very important i should probably turn on the dome <laughs> it's actually been turned off uh, it's not that visible really and yeah it needs one concrete before it can actually go back to work there it is now it's fully functional now we only need to think about what uh kind of a specialist we want to train and we do have 
four youth and four people are now working that. So Zoe, you actually Sector got there 10. automatically. That's fine. Our and with that, the shift at least is full. Almost full. And it's training now. We are going to probably keep it on auto. Um, we do need all of them equally important. Engineers are probably the most important ones for my productivity. But we are really good looking on the on the resources there. Uh, botanists for the farming might actually be something. No food is also fine, especially now that we've reduced the the consumption rates. I need to activate my wind turbines, by the way. I was focusing on research and the, the great dust storm hits us already. So we, we need to make sure that we have everything on track here. With electricity. There you go. Perfect. And I'm probably... Yeah, I don't think we need to upgrade all of them. I think it'll be fine like this. Water extractor is actually offline, right? Yeah, let's turn it on. I do need the water. Yeah, and this nursery is now completely full. So we can also work on that one. And then we got the youth here now living. They have a high comfort rating. That's perfect. And they're all now going to university. Up for training. 51 people, 8 children right now for youth. So it's actually going to get pretty cramped here in the university. Let's keep two shifts open. Um, because I don't want to meddle around with that. Should we get this security up and running? Now we're still fine with six renegades. Barely anyone is stealing something, so it should not be a big deal. The only real deal here is the Martian University costs me also maintenance. That's three electronics per season, a per soul. No, died. not per soul, sorry. That is too much. I think it's every 10 souls, perhaps. So we have a total 0 0.3 maintenance electronics consumption now per soul, a production of one, uh, leading to a nice, comfortable surplus. A fifth youth just came out and as we can see moves right to the university. Belka Houston, there you go. He's a Martian born nerd, religious and vegan. By the way, one more thing that we should actually do is I'm not going to allow any idiots into this dome. So whenever there is an idiot, he should probably not apply for university as they tend to be very slow with the training. Research and complete. actually, is it, is it possible? I think it's not really possible to train them. The sexy one we have as well. That's... Oh, two sexy youth we have. That's very good. And both of them are female. I like that. And Martian Diet, there it is. I was actually talking a bit in advance already. Martian Diet is now researched. So now we consume 25% less food. Um, overall, that's going to help a bit stabilizing that. Mega storage would be next. Jet propulsion. The shuttle hub is pretty cool. I'm, I already have the, the jumper shuttle hub. I might actually consider building it now. We do have enough fuel. Uh, electronics maintenance we can afford and it's really useful to be honest because it's a fast transportation across the map and it'll also help us with the metal transportation down there so should we get it up i think we should it doesn't really matter where i build it because it has an amazingly huge range i don't see anything right now with the dust storm though i would like to build it of course along a cable so we do get it. And there's also my fuel production. So I think it makes sense to have it here, right? My shuttle product... Uh, my shuttle... Up. Let's go ahead. It will have three shuttles on board right away as well. And it will just make things a lot easier to transport. Ah, and there it's already coming up. Boom. Ah, it doesn't work during dust zones. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. That's fine. We just have to wait on that. Another soul. Uh, the fuel is still, still coming in. Perfect. That's that. And off goes the storm. My shuttles are finally also on their way. Look at that. It's beautiful. We don't actually need now a drone um, commander here, right? Because the shuttles can do the rest. So theoretically, this is not necessary anymore. Except, oh, wait a second. Yeah, for maintenance, we might need it. The shuttles can't do that. So let's just keep it over for now. But I just love my shuttles. These are the first three that we're starting with. And there's going to be way more than that, especially since we can also construct them pretty soon. And they're just doing an amazing job getting stuff done quickly. Especially then with our construction in other areas. Resources now, what we also wait... Now, nah, we're looking fine on resources. Don't don't shock me like this. Uh, I will now need to turn down all the, the wind turbines again. We can do this. No problem. The solar panels should be doing an amazing job at getting everything done. We have, by the way, 10,000 power stored right now. And <laughs> it's quite a lot. So we can survive actually two days without any power supply, if it comes to that. Uh, yeah, lots of youths coming in right now. My, my university is looking fine. 
next youth is just joining in who are you that's also youth perfect and the first graduates will be coming out soon of my university and then lead a very productive life As for tax, we do have a few more things. Actually, the meteor defensive system is pretty tempting for me um, to make meteors easy in the future, but the research points are a bit high. Um, we do need micromanagement manufacturing at some point, getting the, the real electronics factory out, not just the small one. And another thing I would probably like to queue up is, there it is, ram metal extractor production is increased by 50%. Um, this is really important to keep the money flowing. Um, and we'll do this after the mega storage. All right, there's another senior, two seniors. We're, but we're actually pretty stable now, above 50. Um, so that's fine. Yeah, and both nurseries are being used now. Ah, the school is also pretty full by now. Two more slots available. And as we can see, the first engineers have been trained. We got the first graduates. Engineers they are now. I will need to do one more trade and that is um, a more filter for my youth dome and kids dome is when as soon as they have a specialization they're going to be kicked out right and this is the important thing here so they're going to be kicked out out of this dome and will have to be forced to move over to the main dome where they can then apply for jobs because over there there's no job close by that I that would come to mind. And to solve the issue no more homelessness and no more unemployment rate as these youths are now moving over. Uh, another anomaly that we have now. Oh, that's actually good. There's no storm right now. I'm going to, I'm going to risk it. Anomaly being researched, actually without incident. Uh, there's lots of metal here that we'll also need to scavenge pretty soon then. Uh, we're sitting at 21%. The domes restore sanity to the inhabitants every soul. This is a very good breakthrough. I mean, we do have a good infirmary now. By the way, have I researched the medical center already? I think I did. Let's go ahead with this one too instead of... Hmm. Yeah, instead of the micro-manufacturing. We don't need that for now. Get my explorer back home. Nine kids. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we are going to have a problem here soon with the school. I will need to build a bigger dome for the schools for the education. All right, the cool thing is the engineers are now starting to work in the polymer factory. The negative downside here is that too many of them are working in just one factory, while the small machine parts factory, for example, does not have that many. Is it because of no priorities also fine? But please, people, get also to some machine parts production here. We need to unfortunately manually reassign them. Let's go with three of them. All right, so that we have the proper balance here. And look at that, it's boosting us to four machine parts per day. And yes, the Martian University at the moment, what I can see is focusing really on engineers. And six graduates are already out, so education is working. Education is a miracle. Ah, uh, we have too many children. It's it's getting a bit crazy there. Ten children, it's faster than I anticipated. Um, of course, the refugee wave did its trick there too. So we'll need to do something else here. I will need to... First of all, hmm, I will need to remodel my youth and kid layout. So we have the kids in here, they're going to school. And once they turn youth, they will probably have to move to the next uh, dome, which is then uh, this dome here, the Sikorsky. Uh, Sikorsky is going to have some housing capacity for the youth. They will learn here and once finished, they will actually go to workplaces. However, this dome is not so great for it because it's separated from the main dome. Um, I might make this one here the youth dome. So once they're finished, they go over, um, live here, have all the services from the main dome connected and all the workplaces they could wish for. That's the farm in the second dome. That's the factories over here. Um, that's the officers. That's the medical center, stuff like that. So I think this is going to be the right track with that one here being a middle ground for, I don't know what, actually for research. Yeah, we could move the research over. Uh, anomaly. Next one. Oh no, of course, Dust Devil. It was only a matter of time. We do have another one popping up out of nowhere. Uh, 93 medals we have right now. That is fine for a while. I don't need to worry about that, but I need to worry about my youths. And let's get rid of these parks. We don't need that many parks really anymore. Right. The only thing we now need here is then some buildings. So let's go ahead and in this sector here, let's build us some 
living quarters um for now let's make it yeah we could actually squeeze in some three living quarters here for all the youths in the future we don't need any parks here nor any service buildings since it's connected with the main dome i don't need to worry about that and we can really just go with living space um this area i would still reserve for them for a big machine parts factory then and this one we can reserve for some research then all right and also what comes to mind here now is yeah that's looking good now actually ah, no one has moved to the electronics factory yet but that's okay uh now polymers is going up we're producing seven per day and only consumes with 1.7 so that's a huge surplus for machine parts i should see should do this uh, see the same i don't even though of course we have 3.5 i don't know where is one but we have a uh, pretty good surplus there now let's go ahead and we are going to disable everyone in here except the youth you can actually go over here and they're not going to be accepted anywhere else anymore right so youth when uh, as soon as you are youth you will move over to that other to that other dome here there they are they're doing it very quickly perfect moving over here having their services connected should be fine there it is 94 comfort rating right now uh, they can then start working in the main dome for services, uh, for farms, for botanica, and also here engineers for my factory, right? And we still have room available then for everything else. This also makes it possible that we can get rid of these two living quarters here. Because I will actually need another school soon if I want to train everyone. We also don't need the research lab here anymore because this is not going to be a research area. We can easily build one once I need one. I really don't need one right now. We are far ahead in, in tech and I worry more about things like construction and production right now. Let's get rid of the research lab. With that we can get a second nursery up. Once this is gone of course. There it is. And let's get rid of the whole block here. With that we'll be able to squeeze in a second school then. Very good. 1200 research points out of the anomaly. Let's repair. 375 concrete. How much more do we have there, by the way? 64. No, 647. <laughs> it's a bit more. That's fine. Yeah, very good. It's working. The youths are now moving over here to this uh, sector. So th this is full of youth now. Uh, colonists in general. And they will then just work in their respective parts. The farm is not really having anyone yet because we don't have a high priority on the farm. Um, if I change that, I should... Um, we move some, and I also don't need this one here fully staffed for now, since, yeah, Remedals is fine. We have a full rocket. Let's actually push this one towards Earth. Let's launch it. Getting us some more money in will help. And I definitely also want to have uh, a good food production from now on. Though it seems rather stable up to this point, right? So we have been luring around 150, 160. So it's, 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 it's actually pretty fine when it comes to that. Yeah. Eight children, uh, two seniors at least, that's not taking a bit of pressure away from my overpopulation that we are running into. That middle-aged guy is, is not having any job, is that right? We do have jobs available though. We could do it. You can do it. Yeah, we do have qu a quite a few jobs available to be honest. And in the service buildings perhaps not that much. But why are you not doing anything? Do something. Work on the farm. Alright, feeling pretty happy with how we go, but we can already feel the limitations of these microdomes now um, starting to, to appear, right? So we will need to transition to bigger domes uh, pretty soon now for my other people as well. As we grow, we will also continue with the big factories soon and hopefully not another storm. Uh, and yeah, actually I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident about terraforming uh, uh, that we can start once in a while. Stay tuned!